What's up guys, it's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ and I'm back with a new video for you today. Today's video is going to be how to make your PC more quiet and this is usually a problem with your fans. Now sometimes it is your cooler and we can touch more on that on the second video. The first video here I'm going to show you how to handle it the hardware way and in the second video I'll show you how to make a custom BIOS fan curve. Now I have done a video like this in the past but it is 2020. I want to make a more informative video and show you guys exactly how to do it. So that's what we're going to get into. Now also uh, one thing I'd like to ask is since YouTube's kind of being jerks to small creators is if you could just hit that like button and throw a comment down below. Now if you don't have anything to ask me or you don't want to comment on the video at all just comment what number like you are that's going to help me out a lot it'll extend my reach a little bit so i'll be able to see some more people maybe a couple new subscribers so i appreciate that if you can do that for me that'd be great and this video is going to go into a series that i'm making now that is getting the most out of your gaming pc so i hope this video helps you guys out and i'll be putting periodically a bunch of videos in there that you guys can if you don't know you can learn a little bit and maybe take a step forward all right so let's look at the fans and how they're installed most commonly, people are going to take these ugly Molex, these are terrible, and they're going to plug it directly in to your power supply. That's most common. But a basic RPM fan is also going to have a 3 or a 4 pin connector. Or you might have something higher end, like this Emirex fan, and it's going to have just a 4 pin connector. So what you want to do is get something like this and plug it into your motherboard. I'll show you how to do that, but also I wanna say that a lot of times when you get a pre-built system, they're either gonna plug them directly into here, which Molex is terrible, as you can see the pins are just garbage, or they will have a hub that will have a direct power port like this, or a SATA port, and all these will be plugged into it, but it also will have no control. So what we wanna do is we wanna add the control to the motherboard so it can keep it nice and quiet. So on this side of the end, obviously you see, you just line up the notches and it's gonna plug right in. So where do we plug this in? Let me show you on the PC. So right here is my daughter's NZXT case. Now if you look at the bottom, I've already got the fan splitters down there, in here. But, I want to show you guys how to install it. So, just to show you guys how to install it, it's going to work the same way with the CPU 4-pin connector. So, you have your connector here. What you want to do is you just plug it in right there. Now, that's what you do for the fan controller. Now, generally, I like to fish it in through the back. So, you have the cores nice and hidden. Bend it around, plug it in, then pull it as tight as you need it to be, or as loose as you want it. Okay? So, now let's look at it. On this new green ion build that I did, that this is for a customer who bought it off my site. Here's our fan splitter here. We have two fans. Just going to connect them right here. Now this is going to allow us to control the fan manually through the BIOS. And this way, his fans will be nice and quiet and we can make a custom fan curve. Now on the second video, what I'm gonna show you guys is how to make the fan curve. This was the hard hardware aspect of it. I just wanted to show you how easy it is, how easy it is to do. Just make sure that you get all the static electricity out of your body by touching something nice metal so that it's nice and safe for you to touch inside the PC. And then that's it. That's how we install that. All right, guys, once again, I hope you found that to be informative. The next video, I'm going to show you how to go into your BIOS or UEFI and exactly tune the fan curve to how you want it. And this way we can cut down that noise. Simple process. If you need to pick up one of these, you can get them from Amazon for a couple dollars. I'll put my Amazon link down below. And even on my December build, I recommended it. And I'm going to do a January build as well. So if you see that in the Amazon link, you can just click on there, scroll over to you see the fan splitters and just add them to cart. And there you go. Then you'll have the fan splitters. So, easy enough. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one. This is Andrew, and it's Elite Gaming HQ. Thanks for watching, guys.